Hey you guys. Hey, how is everybody doing? Okay, so we are going to move on with my collection series. Um, welcome to my channel. Hey everybody. But I have been showing my makeup um, by, bit by bit and this will be episode 9 of my collection series. So I'm very excited about it. Um, this is not going to be a really big deal. Um, this is actually going to be something that will be fast. So I'm basically going to be showing you um, like my travel bag and what's in my travel bag and I have two bags that I kind of keep backups in um, so it's not really I don't know I'm just gonna have to show it to you guys so but yeah so if there's something that you're interested in seeing episode 9 of my collection series just keep on watching it's here and the first bag looks like this <laughs> and it's so full <laughs> this is stuff that I just like there are a couple palettes in here um, there's just, it's, there's just different things in here. So this is why it's just going to be super random. Okay. Um, so first I'll show you guys, I do have a backup of the, let's see what ounce is this? this is a 1.7 ounce of the moisture surge and that's by the Clinique. I haven't done any skincare yet. So you guys haven't seen that. And then I have one of the dramatically different moisturizing lotions plus um, this is for dry to very dry um, combination skin. Um, this is of a small sample size or like a deluxe sample size of the liquid facial soap. This is the um, the mild, which is what I would use um, if I use that soap. Um, I have a little baggie here that just has some extra stuff. And this is like a one of my lore bags that I got. And it has some extras of the Doucet, I think it's the Doucet uh, liner, the Mally um, shadow stick, and the NCLA polish. And that's one side of the bag. So the bag looks like this. Sherry actually gave me this bag. It's really cool. It looks like this and it has two flippy parts right like this. And then it has a big part. So that is what is in the first little cubby there. So this could, this can be taken off. It has the little two, two snaps like that. So on one side, it's like nothing but like lippy stuff. Um, most of it's Clinique and Ulta. So I'm just gonna pull all of it out and show it to you guys. Marci um, Marciano, Marciano Cherry. Um, it is the Intense Chubby Stick for lips. And then I have a Ulta Beauty um, Shiny Liquid Lipstick in the color Clay. This is a double-ended, um, this one side is brown and one side is black. I have a, a Clinique, one of these, uh, the Lippies. This is the Pop, and I believe this is number 13, uh, Love Pop. And it's a very beautiful color. It looks like this. I have a large size of the um, High Impact Mascara by Clinique, and this is in the color black. And the wand on this is really, really good. I like it. it has a little bit of a point to the end of it, but it's a very good wand. I also have another Ulta Lippy here, and this is in the color mauve, and this is shiny lipstick as well. This is gorgeous. Um, and then I have the liner that goes with both of those lippies that I showed you from Ulta, and on one side is the the mauve and on the other side is the clay so this is a really good old lippy pencil so and then last but not least i have the chubby stick cheek color balm which i have never used this before and this is by clinique this is what it looks like and this is in the color plumped up penny and this is what the stick looks like when it's when it's out or you can use this on the cheeks um or the lips um basically you can use it wherever and you know i don't really use a lot of uh, cream products but when I do, I would definitely use this. This is a beautiful color. And in the other side, there's only like four things. There is a contour stick um, by Wet n Wild, and this is in the color um, Oak, Oak's On You. And this is what it looks like. It's a little bit on the, I don't know. It's just so, it's, I don't know. It's usually not my, my contour color, but I haven't used it much, so maybe I'll give it a chance and, and try it on a video or something. And then I have three liquid shadows here that um, I really love. Um, this is the ColourPop and this is Moonlit. This is what this one looks like. And then I have the um, two of the Color Icon Wet n Wild shadows. And I believe that my friend Zinnia sent these to me. Um, one of them is in Mysterious Nights. And this is just this beautiful like metallic, like greenish, blackish. It has all these different like beautiful like, pewter type color and then this one is in the color moonlight majesty and this is just like a rainbow like purpley shimmery green oh i have a nail polish that that goes that that looks like this and i think it would be beautiful 
um, with this. Side, the other zippy side has three of my favorite Bad Habit um, pieces. Um, it's three of the five of the the cult series of Bad Habit, and it is the Cult Mystics, the Cult Mania, and the Cult Mystere. And these are the Pat McGrath dupes. Um, these happen to be just the ones that I have. I do not have the other two. One of them, um, the two that I don't have, one of them I really didn't want. It is um, all shimmers and it's like rainbow colors and I do have that in another palette. And then the one that I did want, I believe is, I don't remember what it's called, but it's beautiful and it has like this beautiful pink and green in it and I just, I wasn't able to get it. So but the first one is the Mystics and this is beautiful. I have done a video on this one and oh my goodness, the colors in here are just gorgeous. You cannot ask for a more beautiful palette. Look at that blue and the blue in here and this, this palette reminds me a lot besides the gold and this, this white. It kind of reminds me of that palette that I got from Morphe that I ended up taking back. It has these cool tones in it and it's just beautiful. It's got this transcend color right here. It's something like these are very unusual colors and they're very gorgeous. Every single one of these and they blend out beautifully and this is just a great, great, great series from Bad Habit. I love it. The, the packaging on these palettes, oh my goodness, beautiful, beautiful packaging. Okay, so on this one, I think this is probably my favorite packaging. It's got this this sheen to it. It's got this these gold birds on it, and they're just really different. Um, but this is the Mystere, and the inside of it, uh, it has, and you can also feel the ridges on the outside of this one. The inside of this one is absolutely 100% just out of this world gorgeous, you guys. Look at that. I'm being careful with these because these are, these are, some of these are pressed, um, where are they, it, it says, it. some of these are pressed powders and some of them are baked powders. So the ones on this side, like these four are the baked powders and these are the pressed powders and a couple of them, when they came in, they came in and they were broken. I had to fix them. I did have one of them replaced, but I think out of all of them, this one and the next one I'm going to show you, all three of these are the main ones that I wanted. So. They're just gorgeous. These colors are like nothing else that you'll ever use. And if you do get a chance to get your hands on any of these, I would say do it. Um, as far as a first one to get, whether you like cool tones or, or um, warm tones, depend on which one you like more. Um, if you like cool tones, I will go ahead and get the Mystics one first. And just to give you an idea of what the formula is like. But if you like warm tones, this next one will be a good one to get first. This is the newest one that they have that they came out with and this is the Cult Mania and this is what it looks like on the outside. It has this this red rush of like, uh, just beautiful. And I, these are just so interesting. So this one is absolutely gorgeous for warm tones. Um, and I have been told <clears throat> by people who own the Pat McGrath um, palette like this that own this palette as well that these colors actually play well they play better than the pat mcgrath they're a lot easier to use so if you're a beginner or and even if you're not a beginner um you know and you want to try something and it be you know just something that you've never tried before that is a little bit interesting and a little bit out of the box this would definitely be a good first one for you to try if you like the warm colors and these warm tones I absolutely love. That is what is in the big pocket of my uh, travel case here. And the reason I keep them in here is because like I said, they are so, so fragile. <laughs> They're fragile palettes, they really are. And because this, this I know that this, um, this little travel bag always kind of stays in the same spot because I don't travel. I know that they're not going to get messed up. I know that they're not going to get, you know, messed with, you know, and I can leave them and, and just have them be okay. Okay. So that is the first, um, travel bag. And again, this is what it looks like. So that may get passed on at some point to somebody just because I have a, another travel bag here. And this is one that I showed you guys at Christmas. This is the one from Ulta. Um, and this is a beautiful travel bag and I love it. It's got a place for brushes. It's got a place for pretty much everything. This one has a, a thing in the middle that is Velcroed and you can put brushes in here if you do travel and there is what 
one, two, three, four, five, six spaces, but there's enough for like two each in, in each one of these. And then it has the flap that comes down. And um, then the other side is just a zip pocket. And then it has two or uh, one large zip pocket on this side and then two smaller ones on the other side. And I will show you. So inside this, I don't have any brushes in here, but inside this, I have this Ulta palette that came with the, the bag. I have not used this. I have not used this. I don't even think I've swatched it. So I may put this in a giveaway. It's a little bit scratched up for some reason, but I have not used it. You can see that I have not even touched it, but it's a pretty palette. I just think that I have these colors in other palettes and I would rather just either give it away to somebody else or to my niece or something like that. Um, and then the other thing that I have in here I also have not touched is the, um, this is like a matte bronzer, it's a bronzer, a blush, and a highlighter palette um, that also came with the bag. I have just way too much. You guys already have seen my bronzer and my blush collection and you guys know that I do not need any more. So, but this is very gorgeous. So I may put both of these in like a little um, giveaway or something. I'm not sure. You guys let me know if you'd like to have, uh, put to see these put in a giveaway. So I'm gonna show you guys on one side, the zippies, there's two zippy things here. So there's two pieces. So, and on the top one, I have one little palette in here and it is my Juvia's Place, um, the little mini Nubian by Juvia's Place. And I don't know why I put it in there. I guess because it's so small and this is what it looks like on the inside. It is a really pretty little palette. I did a look with this and um, I'll try to remember to link that up, up top, but I never remember to do it. So you guys will just have to look it up. <laughs> All right, and then on the bottom here, I have a few skincare items. Um, well, this isn't skincare. This is like a little pill case, a little pill caddy. Um, ooh, there is, in here is a um, blood pressure pill that I need. That's great. <laughs> but this is a little pill caddy that I keep in here. Clark Botanical Smoothing Marine Cream in a little sample size. Um, I've used some of this, but not all of it. So I just kind of keep it in there in case I want to grab grab it. This is the Deep Divine Water Cream. It's a super light, refreshing gel cream for ultimate hydration, and it's by Red Earth. Looks like this. It has this really cool little thing on top. And this is one of the coolest things that I got in this Ulta Beauty uh, little travel bag. And this is the little thing that holds Q-tips. Isn't that cool? This is really cool, and I like it because it's, you can put more than just Q-tips in here. It's just a cute little container for whatever. So, if you really wanted to, you could you could use this for like loose pigment or something. And then I have a backup of my um, Ultimate Repair Cream by First Day Beauty in here, and that's what it looks like. And this is just a you know just a backup because I have one open already. So side, and then there's one more side. And it's going to be short because there's only two things in here. Right, I have a Douce palette. And this is a palette that I'm actually giving away. I was looking for it so I can give it away. <laughs> this is what it looks like on the inside. These beautiful cool tones. The purple and the maroon and brown. Like this super cool tone brown. And then it has this beautiful highlighter. It has this thing that moves over. something, But I don't remember exactly where I got this from. But I have not used it, and I think it's gorgeous, and it needs some love. So, yes, that's one of my friend Krista. And this is one of my favorite palettes that I have not used very much, but I did get as a gift for Christmas from my best friend. And this is the Emily Wants. And I don't know why I keep it in there. I just want it to be safe. So, this is what this looks like on the inside. This is a beautiful, gorgeous palette. I mean, you cannot ask for a more beautiful palette. The shade names are gorgeous, the colors are gorgeous, and it's just a beautiful palette. I love it. It's one of my favorites. So, that is what is in my travel bags, and yeah, I think this is long enough. So, I'm going to cut this video, and we are going to go into episode 10 with some more palettes. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up, tap subscribe, hit ring your dingy bell. We'll support you back. So I will see you guys on my next video and I love you, but I will not argue with you. Bye.